former Punjab Chief Minister and Congress leader has stoked a real storm this time by his statement calling the Pooch attack on an IEF convoy in Jammu and Kashmir a sort of a political pre-fall stunt by the BJP. He's, he, he lashed out. This was his comment on Sunday. Today he has given a clarification, perhaps forced by his party. The BJP, of course, is seeing red over this entire thing, over the entire thing, and they are calling for an apology from the entire of this top class. Now, we are here today, we are going to discuss this matter and we are going to talk about, I, I have with me Sutanu Guru, Executive Director, CEO Sutanu, hi, welcome to the show, uh, welcome to Times of India, Sutanu. What is this, 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 this need for needlessly saying things in a poll environment? This is sort of becoming like a Congress trademark. You know, I, I find it very, very mysterious, Aditi, this, uh, Suicidal, I'll call it, suicidal tendency of the Congress party. I mean, if at all Chandni had to make a comment on the post attack on the Indian Air Force convoy, and by the way, one soldier has also died in the attack, all he could have done was to pray for the soul of the departed and criticize the NDA regime for its intelligence failure. It was as simple as that. Why go into stuff like stunts? And this is in line with numerous statements made by many Congress leaders over the last many, many years. So I find it really mysterious and coming in the bang in the middle of the election, it is even more mysterious and I call it suicide. Chandni too said something like this. Even the Maharashtra opposition Congress leader, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Vijay has also said something similar. He's talked about Hemant Karkare. He's talked about, uh, he's talked about the fact that Kasab was not the one who killed Hemant Karkare, that it was some RSS affiliated policeman uh, who's, who's done the uh, job. Uh, again, uh, lots of uh, needless comments, uh, obviously, to, uh, I mean, he, his, his, he, where, the place he's coming from is Uchwal Nika, who is now contesting as a BJP, who's the CBI prosecutor of the time, who's now contesting from a BJP ticket viewers. Uh, your, your, your says about what's happening within the Congress. Why are people making such comments? Uh, because in any case, the party, uh, the BJP is going after the party, hammer and tongs, saying that they are uh, anti-national, trying to build that narrative. They may or may not be anti-national, but when we, their leaders make statements like these, uh, what comes through? You see, I think this is even more astonishing because uh, this politician is a veteran Congress leader. He should know what has happened in 26-11. He should know the, you know, regard with which uh, the martyr Hemant Karkar is held, he should know that uh, Ujwal Nikam has successfully prosecuted many terror cases and he really did not have said all these things. Again, it's suicidal. And if you look at it this way, uh, if, if politics and elections are, end of the day, a matter of perceptions. Now, there are many who will say that BJP will latch on to do these silly statements and create a propaganda war like uh, situation and try and convince voter that Congress is anti-national and in some other cases anti-Hindu. Look, this is war. Why are you giving the BJP the opportunity to use this as a propaganda tool against you? I find it absolutely astonishing and silly. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.